Hey, what is up guys? Welcome back to another video. Today we are going to be doing a green deck profile. So with green, it's obviously one of those colors that you don't really see me playing too much and that's because I don't really connect well with the green particular color. And uh, with that being said, I just tend not to build decks uh, centered around green as much just because the whole mechanic behind green is not as appealing to me. I prefer to play purple the most. Um, though I will say though, uh, green is something I would play if it was mixed with a different color. For example, playing a green blue deck is something I might play, but to play a pure green deck, uh, it's just something I don't really uh, go for that often. So with that being said, here is a green deck profile for you guys. Now, this is an interesting deck because you know how like there's this saying where uh, the theory doesn't always come off correctly when you're actually putting it into application. Well, in this particular case, it couldn't be more truer uh, in this particular circumstance because of the fact that theoretically this deck was actually not meant to work out for me. But in the three games that I managed to play it in, um, I won all three of them. So it was just really surprising. Although I will say this though, uh, the way I won was not the purpose of this deck, and um, yeah, that's pretty much what was weird here, is that this deck just ended up working for me, but not in the way I intended it to work. Uh, so yeah, with that being said, I'll just explain along the way uh, throughout this deck profile what I actually mean by that, but uh, yeah, let's just get started. So. Right off the bat, I'm playing here the Freemon, which is just one of the extra ones we need. But the main one I'm using here is the Yokomon, which essentially, if it's trashed because of Digiburst, you get to give one of your Digimon 2000 for the turn. Uh, really nice there, but uh, as you can already guess, this deck is meant to be focused on Digiburst. And uh, I'll explain the weakness of this deck later at the end of this deck profile, so stay till then. But uh, with that being said, uh, the whole purpose of this deck is meant to be Digiburst. So on to level 3s, we're going to be playing here obviously 4 copies of Terriamon Assistant. It's already a staple in most green decks anyway, but the fact that it also has Digiburst is kind of what makes it uh, what it is. So definitely really amazing there, uh, allowing you to search yourself out. Um, but I'm also playing 2 copies of Argumon, uh, just a really nice card to boost up DP. And I'm playing here Wormmon, uh, you get to essentially just add a level 4 or 5, um, so it is a nice searcher. And I'm obviously playing 4 copies here of uh, Tentomon as well, again, just a staple card in all green decks because it allows you to search. So with that being said, you already are surprised to see that I only have one Digiburst over here. So yeah, that's kind of one of the flaws actually, or the weaknesses that I'll point out right now and that is I actually don't play too many Digiburst cards in this particular deck it's more so uh, playing Digibursts at level 6 that matters at this point so I'll get to that later but with that being said uh, this deck is still meant to be a Digiburst deck so you guys might be surprised to see that later down the line there aren't as many Digiburst Digimon in this deck as you might expect. So on to level 4s, we're playing 4 copies here of Dokugamon, uh, essentially just allowing you to add your level 5s or 6s from your deck to your hand. I mean, pretty self-explanatory, right? But we're also playing over here 4 copies of Weedmon. If it's trash due to a Digiburst effect, you get to gain 1 memory. I mean, that's pretty obvious. It is one of the staples in any Digiburst-centered deck. But uh, in this particular deck, yeah, it actually works. Um, this one here, Flymon, just a really good card as well. Uh, I'm starting to like all of these different cards. So you have Flymon, you have uh, Gururumon, and you have like, I think, Airdromon, and Black Gatomon. But all of these types of Digimon that essentially allow it to play from the security after its battle is done for free, is just so good so I honestly just have been liking these uh, quite a lot. Next up for level 5s we're playing here Lilymon, 4 copies of these uh, again just allowing you to then add level 6s from your deck to your hand so just another nice bonus there. Um, you reveal 5 cards so surely you'll find one. 
Birds, whilst I'm playing over here, are uh, four copies of Mega Cup Terramon. Uh, once per turn during your turn, when this Digimon deletes an opponent's Digimon in battle and survives, you get to trash the top card for your opponent's security stack. Very powerful. Uh, kind of playing off that whole um, piercing thing but in a different way. So yeah, definitely quite nice there. And this kind of works well because it's also an inherited effect. So it is meant to be intended for your level sixes and not so much for itself. But finally, we're playing here two copies of Dino Beamon. This one has piercing, so definitely fantastic there uh, because it's really speedy and it has jamming as well. So it can't even be deleted. So yeah, definitely well worth it. But these are essentially the level fives we're playing. Again, just like the level fours, not a single Digiburst card in sight. So at this point, you guys are probably already wondering, theoretically, this deck should not have worked at all, right? But surprisingly, the thing is this, by not using Digibursts at level four and five, you essentially get to save up your Digivolution cards so that by the time you get to your level six, you have enough cards to go for your Digibursts. So in this particular case, I have my four copies of Rosemon. So this is essentially the intention of this particular deck, and that is Digiburst 3. All of your Digimon with Digiburst gain a security attack plus one. So this was actually intended to be played to give every single Digiburst Digimon I had, and the only other ones I have is the Terrymon Assistant and herself of course, and all of them would get an extra security attack and you'd go for the attack and you'll just win by overwhelming numbers. But with that being said, despite the fact that I only have the Rosemon and I only have the Terrymon Assistant, it's funny because you only need two or three of those on the board to actually uh, deal enough damage to finish off your opponent. And luckily my opponent had three tamers in one particular circumstance, so they really couldn't respond because three tamers just disappeared right off the bat. And then one of my Terrymons did end up dying anyway to one of their security Digimon, and my Rosemon also died as well, but that was just me being unlucky hitting at level six. Uh, but either way, it only took me one more turn to then just get at my opponent's security one more time and then finish them off. So it was really nice and really surprising at how fast this deck could actually work. But the thing is this, security attack plus one is uh, quite the devastating effect indeed. So yeah, it is really nice. However, with that being said, this deck didn't actually play off the way I intended, and that was to get the security attacks. It only worked in that one particular circumstance, but even then it didn't finish the game on that one turn, uh, which was my intended purpose for this build. Uh, instead, I actually just won by attacking with my Digimon regularly, without even using the effects. Um, so yeah, I, it just turned out to be one of those typical, like, consistent green decks that I happen to have built. Uh, so yeah, definitely quite interesting there, but uh, with that being said, the last one we have here is uh, the other Rosemon. So this particular one is when Digivolving, one of your opponent's Digimon can't actually attack or block until the end of their next turn. So a uh, really powerful card that pretty much just allows you to get your attack on. Uh, so yeah, that's pretty much the level six lineup. It's focused entirely on Rosemon and even then, it wasn't even that strongly focused on Digiburst, so yeah, it's quite surprising indeed. Uh, yeah, so this is a really interesting deck, really fun deck, um, and you guys can probably already tell that it was just something that shouldn't have worked at all, but it happened to in a completely different way. So as for the Tamers, we're playing two copies here of Yoshino and two copies here of Izzy. So with Izzy, when one of your opponent's Digimon becomes suspended, then you get to suspend this and gain a memory. However, with Yoshino, you get to return a Digi Egg card from your trash to the bottom of your Digi Egg deck. I mean, that's obviously nice and all, but during your turn, when Digivolving one of your Digimon into a Digimon card with uh, Digiburst, you may spend this Tamer to reduce the Digivolution cost by one. I mean, was it really that necessary to actually play this particular card? Uh, not really, because the funny thing is um, you only had two Digimon with Digiburst, so uh, with Yoshino you probably didn't even need to play her. Uh, you could actually just swap her out and play Ken instead. Ken would be a lot better in this particular build. 
So the final cards are the option cards, and I'm only playing these cards here, and that is the green memory boost. Just four copies, and that's pretty much it. Uh, pretty much allowing you to get into your green Digimon as quick as possible, but also to gain the additional memory as well. Just making this deck really consistent, and I think green is probably one of the most consistent decks out there, which is what makes it play off so well, but the only issue is it becomes one of those generic decks that's just really fast and is able to do stuff but then just fails so much afterwards uh so yeah that's pretty much the deck so i hope you guys have fun and thanks for joining me today i hope you all have a great day i'll see you all next time